Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another Your Stupid video where we look at people who are making poor decisions. Why aren't they learning? I've done so many videos teaching people how to be smarter. Why are they not learning? I don't know. Let's just continue. What do you think, George Costanza? I think I should put some clothes on. Okay. Anyway, let's just get into it. This is your stupid number 88. Let's do it! God willing, my mother will not see. Ha <laughs> ha! That is bad. Your mom is gonna see. What, do you think that pink cloth is gonna stay there forever? This looks like a very tidy place. I think the first thing she does when she comes home is like, why is that cloth there? I'm gonna put it away. You gotta staple the cloth to the couch. You gotta super glue it down. What's worse? A burn mark or a cloth super glued to it. You gotta make your choice. You gotta move out. Pack your bags. All right? There's no forgiving it. Why were you ironing the couch? Was there a wrinkle in it and it was making your OCD go crazy? Don Dillon. This is a review on Amazon. Looks real. These are great. Looks like it's lit and has people running to tell you to put it out. I work in an oil refinery and people are going insane. Worth every penny. And also, I don't have a job anymore. What do you... That's not... No, that's not a good prank. You're making people terrified. You're wreaking havoc at your job site. I don't think afterwards people aren't gonna be like, Oh, that's hilarious. Ha ha. Ha uh, ha, uh, no, they're gonna be like, my life flashed before my eyes. All I was thinking about was my children. I want to see my children grow up. Where the f*** is this taking me? It's taking you to Ebidibi. 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 You're gonna go up there and it's gonna be like some weird monster dressed up like a middle-aged housewife? That's what I picture Ebidibi the monster. Ebidibi, I love you. Maybe this could be like the new uh, Barney, like a children's character. Let me just put something in the old AI prompt here. Yeah, that's no. Just imagine that entertaining your children. It's terrifying. EBDB, I love you. Here's a bad placement of an automatic sprayer. Was gonna get paper towel and this thing sprayed Febreze in my face. How's your day going? Well, my breath isn't as fresh as yours. You know, those things are bad breath activated. It just knew you needed a little fresher upper. If it was like mouth spray, that'd be kind of cool, you know? Until you don't see it and it sprays mint in your eyes. Yeah, it's just bad placement. Don't put the automatic Febreze sprayer there. It's hilarious because it doesn't just spray when someone walks up to it. Every once in a while it sprays. So that was just bad timing, I guess. Still, a bad place to put the Febreze, all right? Put it somewhere where people aren't going to be face level with it. Whole chicken. Maple leaf prime chicken cut from Canadian beef. What? Oh, I know what kind of chicken this is. Oh, this is one of those chickens where they let the cow eat the chicken alive. The cow doesn't chew it, just swallows it whole. And then they cut the chicken out of the cow. It tenderizes it. Yeah, it's a weird Canadian delicacy. Don't look it up. Here's a toilet man. Wow, that's that new superhero where he uses toilets as his weapon. He's got his toilet helmet, and then he's got his toilet fists, and he just hits you with porcelain. His first name was going to be the Porcelain Pal, but a toilet man just came out better. It, comes, it rolls off the tongue better. I think this is the smart guy. He just figured out a way to get the job done in one trip, all right? What, he's going to have to go back and carry another one? No, pop it on your head. Truck for sale. Needs parts. Oh, that's a good deal. How much are you selling it for. It seems like it needs a lot of parts. Are there even rims in those tires? I doubt it. Here's a $20 bill that says I put this in my anus. Oh, why? Why would you do that? Other people have to use that money now. Well, at least you gave them fair warning. You know, you could have done it and then just put it back out into the world. At least now people know where this dollar bill has been. This $20 bill. Oh, that poor $20 bill. And you know, if it gets into a certain person's hands, they're just gonna start sniffing it. Sickos. There's too many sickos in this world. Like what, this guy from uh, Baywatch? <laughs> he admitted for some reason that while he was on the cast of Baywatch, he sniffed the other cast members' bathing suits when they weren't wearing them. Why would you do that? That's disgusting. And also, if you do that, that's called the deep dark secret. You don't just tell people, what, did you think everyone was going to start high-fiving you? Like, cool, man. What did you think would happen? You thought that information was going to be received nicely, or you just felt guilty about it so you finally came clean? Oh. Gross. Oh, the Wienermobile pulled over by the popo. And the funny thing is that that's uh, actually not a police officer. It's an undercover health inspector. It's a double whammy. You're going to get a ticket and then another ticket. You're going to get your wiener shut down. Here's a fun story. This one is about a train that was canceled after squirrels bored and refused to leave. Those dang aggressive squirrels. Aggressive rodents cause pandemonium in Surrey as... 
they attack passengers and force route to end prematurely. Squirrels forced the cancellation of a train service after they got on board and refused to leave. The two rodents reportedly started to attack rush hour commuters on Monday's 8.54 a.m. gate Great Western Railway. Apparently, they hitched a ride and they didn't have any tickets. The conductor was kind of funny about it, though. He said they boarded without tickets, breaching railway by clause. And then he said, we attempted to remove them at Red Hill, but one refused to leave and was returned to reading to bring an end to this nutty tale. Well, at least he has a sense of humor about it. At least he didn't get in there and start bashing him with hammers or something. I feel like a certain type of person would have handled this differently. Like, all right, well, time to gas the train. You guys can stay or leave. Man, squirrels just don't care, right? Just on there, punching people in the face, throwing nuts at them. That is crazy. Just let the squirrels ride the train. That's fine. Oh, I got some videos for you. Here's someone who probably just got their forklift license. Or maybe they're a very experienced forklift driver. This is a maneuver only a very experienced forklift driver should attempt. Why are you doing this? Oh no, it's caving in on him. Oh, have you ever drowned in garbage? That's a way to go. That can't be good. Back it up. Get out of there. Not a smart move. No, probably done just for the video. And that is some pile of plastic. Oh, here's a parkour master. Go on, mate. <laughs> so that, Ellie. <laughs> 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 Let me say that! <laughs> Whoa, what were you trying to do? Jump from one to the other? Clearly you were far too intoxicated for that. Man, it's just the double whammy when the thing falls on top of him too. I love how his friend is like yelling to random strangers like, Did you guys see that? Look, come over here! <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that! <laughs> I want more people to share in this embarrassment. Everybody look at my stupid friend. He was either playing the floor is lava or he was trying to do some hardcore parkour. Either way, you failed at both. <laughs> Let me say that. Here's a good Samaritan. Trying to pick a sign up. Man, that's like when you stop on the side of the street to see if someone's okay and then they stab you. That's basically what this sign did to him. Smacked him in the face. Just trying to pick you up when you're down and the sign was trying to take a nap. You startled it. I could watch that a couple times in a row. It's pretty good. His friend didn't even laugh at him. That's the most alarming part to me is the person filming didn't even laugh. I guess you didn't, you have to wait that brief moment to make sure they're okay first, right? And then you can laugh. Here's a guy slipping on some ice. Oh, and he caught, oh, color me impressed. He caught the beer and then started drinking it. He played that off cool. He was like, no, 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 I, I meant to slip and fall and throw the beer up in the air and then catch it. That's my cool party trick I do when I'm walking on ice. Oh, speaking of cool party tricks, here's a party trick. I'm not sure if it's cool. And this uh, video is oddly silent, so I'm going to talk awkwardly over it. Oh, what are you trying to do here? Balance the cup, clearly. Cool. Is this... <laughs> oh. oh, she's getting real graceful now. There, there we go. Is this a trick? Is this something you do all the time? Like, oh yeah, do that trick where you look crazy and you put a cup on your head. I felt like it was gonna lead up to something cool, like some cool spectacular finish, but she just got even more uncoordinated and did this weird like somersault thing. And I mean, she didn't spill her drink, but what the hell did I just witness? Oh, I'm gonna do this at all the parties I go to now. Like this guy looks more graceful than you did doing that, all right? His party trick was way cooler. Her friends are just putting her up to it. Like, watch this stupid thing she does when she's drunk. She thinks it's so cool. It's like when a kid does, like, a cartwheel for the first time, and they think it looks amazing. That's what she's doing right now. She did that somersault. Like, did you see that backflip I did? No? That uh, felt cool. Anyway, that's what I got for you today. Nova, you got anything to say? No? All right, let's just get out of here. Oh, no, I blocked the fish tank the whole time today. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. You like my shirt? I love this shirt. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you're new here and you got this far in the video, you must have liked something you saw. So uh, hit that subscribe button, leave some feedback in the comments, leave a like. If you have any content you want to send for these videos, you can send it to fluffyfanmail at gmail.com. The merch and the Patreon, all those links are in the description down below. And uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Come up to your screen real quick.
<gasps> Come here. Boop. Got you. Oh, here she comes. Hi. You want your boop? Boop. Got you. Bye.